just got the book, Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. And wow, this is low-key a thick book. Like, look at that. I'm not used to that. I'm gonna try to finish this within the next two weeks. I think it'll be doable if it's a good book. Yeah. Now I am gonna head over to Ranch 99 to pick up some Punsit which is a Filipino noodle dish if you guys haven't heard about it but my mom is asking me to pick some up for lunch today so yeah I'm super hungry and we've got to eat because we have a long day of just studying, coding, and editing my videos <laughs> which is basically plantains with jackfruit wrapped in a fried sprinkle. They didn't have the pen sit here, so I just got dessert for my mom. Christmas tree. It's been up since December and it's May. <laughs> just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing the past two weeks because I haven't been filming or anything. I had some pre-recorded videos to go out just because I had absolutely no plans after the semester ended. Basically, now that the semester's over, I have around three months until the next semester, which is in August. This summer, I want to focus on applying for jobs, internships, and also learning the basics for the programming languages. So this week, I'm learning SQL, and I'm learning it through this website called mode.com. And I actually really like it because it's this website where they have a ton of tutorials on the basics, the intermediate and advanced technical parts of SQL, and how to aggregate functions and lots of other things, and I've already learned so much within the past week of starting it. I love how there's practice problems because I think that's the best way to learn for myself. So yeah, so all of the resources that I'm using to learn SQL, I will link it down below for you guys if anyone's interested. I just wanted to do a quick little recap of basically what my plans are for this summer. <laughs> just unwinding and I think today is hair washing day just because my hair has been feeling super greasy I don't know if it's from the new shampoo and conditioner that I bought recently after I shower like it's completely like it feels weird like it feels kind of too smooth and greasy already but I just showered so I'm so confused I just want to wet my hair because we're going to Austin tomorrow and I just want fresh hair before the trip so yeah, let me show you guys what I'm using. This is what I'm currently using. I just bought this the other week, but it is the Pantene Hydrating Glow Shampoo. I used this last summer and I loved the smell and I loved just how it made my hair really healthy and shiny. So I feel like it's not the shampoo and conditioner. I feel like this is why my hair feels weird after I shower, but we'll see. Today, we're not gonna use this, we're just gonna use these two and we'll see if that makes a difference.
Hey guys, so I wanted to start off the morning with looking for daily job postings, trying to see if there's anything that I missed the other day when searching for jobs, and I'm going to be using LinkedIn and Indeed. But I also wanted to walk you guys through what I've been using to stay organized throughout this whole job searching process because it's really easy to get disorganized and lose track of things during this process because are applying for so many different jobs, so many different roles. It could be remote, it could be in person, it could be an internship. So there's a lot of different factors to each job application that I want to keep track of. So what I've been using is Julia Fay's Notion template. It pretty much has a table where you can track all of your applications. You can list the company, the role, and also include the link for the job posting and the date that you applied and also the status of the application. So I thought that was very helpful to get me started. I will link the template down below for you guys if you guys are interested and if you are also searching for jobs. So another thing worth mentioning is that there have been a lot of job posting scams. I feel like this has been going around for a while now, but I've seen a few scams on LinkedIn and Indeed and I just want to make sure that I don't my information out there where it's not supposed to go and so when I do see job applications on LinkedIn I actually go to the company's website and search for job openings there it's just something to be aware of during this whole process I'm sure you guys know <laughs> job positions job openings for this one company it is a remote position which is good i feel like they have more options for remote compared to in-person openings here where i live yeah but i'm just gonna keep looking around as well i'll try to apply for five jobs for now for today because i have a lot of other stuff to do <laughs> milk so I just used the rest of it which is good because I wanted a matcha I didn't have one yesterday. I've applied to five jobs which is good but now I'm going to transition over to SQL. I'm just going to finish up the last portion of Mode's basic learning course. <laughs> in about an hour but let's get to packing i'm gonna start with packing my toiletries skincare and then we'll head over to packing my clothes <laughs> my clothes. I'm not really sure what the itinerary is for this weekend. I only know that we have a dinner tonight. We might go clubbing tomorrow and then we might go swimming at Barn Springs. I'm gonna work with what we have and probably I'm gonna overpack and just bring my whole closet. So let's go. <laughs> guys i don't know why i put off packing till the last minute literally i should be at jack's right now but i'm gonna do my makeup really quick pretty much have most of my stuff packed just need to pack my towel and then my pillow i'm literally using the same products that i always do the tower 28 concealer 
You know what, I should have put on some primer because this needs to last till tonight. So we're going to Austin for one of our friend's birthdays. I'm pretty excited because we haven't seen the whole friend group in seven months since November, if I counted correctly, since Friendsgiving. So it's been such a long time since our friend group got together. What's hard is that we all live in different cities. So we live in like Dallas, Austin, and Houston. We all just try to find a time and a place to get together. And this weekend we're going to Austin. So I'm pretty excited. It's always fun with that group. And it's been a while since I socialized. So this is gonna be quite an eventful weekend. Honestly, I think that's just post-grad life. Everyone's so busy, they have their own responsibilities, people work different jobs, different hours. It's just important once in a while to find some time where all of our schedules line up, where we can get together and catch up. I'm gonna add some glow with the glow filter. Just adding some here, maybe a little bit here, I don't know. Um, alright, I'm gonna hurry up. I keep I'm gonna stop talking. I need to hurry up. Literally gotta leave in five minutes. I don't know if I can do that. Makeup is done. And I also paired it with these very cute gold hoop earrings. And then also this brown bag, which I haven't worn or used at all in over a year. It's from Princess Polly, but I thought it would be a pretty good match to my outfit. All neutrals, beige, brown, and then green pants. So I've got to head out, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. There will be a ton more job searching episodes to come in the future, and I will see you guys in Austin. Bye! Thank you.